Hey, we're here. Wow. This is it. Wow, gorgeous. I really hope the heating's on in there. <sighs> Okay. Let's see. Hey. Key. As promised. So far, so good, huh? Why is it again that you couldn't write your second novel at a five-star resort? Because, my love, we can't have others around. They might be swept away in a rushing torrent. And my brilliance. So selfless, always looking out for others. Indeed. Whereas here, we're safe because we'll freeze solid before it hurts anyone. Because you think you're mysterious. <laughs> I just don't like to have other people around. It creeps me out. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Oh, honey. Oh. Oh, oh, mouse. That's a mouse. It's all right. <laughs> mouse and a mouse. <laughs> this company. Okay. I'm gonna go get the bags, huh? Okay, I'll go find us a fireplace. All right. Hey. A coulier en votre château, ma princesse. Ah, votre français est atroce, mes mignons. I don't know what that means. <laughs> hey, this stupid log won't catch on fire. It's a good thing the future civilization is resting on you. Yeah, I'm more the hunter-gatherer type. <laughs> well, that's good to know if we get snowed in and food runs out. Now, you gotta use the kindling, right? That's what it's there for. Oh, that's what it's there for. Are you three? Huh? <laughs> <sighs> This is adorable. So you admit it's a good idea to be here? Huh? Ah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Right? Is it big enough? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Good God. Woman, take a shower. You look like you got fucked last night. I huh? feel like it. Hey, is the book as good as the poster? That's what they tell me. I'm gonna go shower. Hmm. Ooh, brush your teeth.
something in the kitchen. Half full of smoke. Shit, I'm sorry. I, um, I just got lost for a bit. Okay. Why don't you go take a shower? I'll make us pancakes or something. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Looks like I'm growing a beard. I forgot my shaving cream. You're forgetting a lot of things these days. I know. I need to save some vitamin B or something. Something. Hey, what happened to pancakes? That mouse chewed through the box, and I do not think our mix was supposed to have chocolate chips in it. Ooh. <laughs> well, this looks good. So what do you want to do today? Don't you need to write? What? You gotta ease into something like a novel. Hmm? I hung a poster in my workroom. I think that's enough for the day. Really? Hey! A walk. That's what I want to do today. A walk. A walk? Really? Really? A walk. This is what you want to do today? Come on, I want to show you something. You see that? That's the sky. And there, over there, those are trees. You write about them. Nope. All I see is a forest. Come on, weirdo. I promise you won't melt. Between waterfalls of honey, you were wandering upside down, leering at the friends you left behind, trapped in that little town. Near the ocean, near the hillside, near the factories and the bars Where the people live so far apart, all stuck inside their car Where you were loved by a prince with a love so intense That he took his own life in your honor And in a different world a different face It was I who could have been your lover Morning brings light by the feet of the dawn To light those tired eyes both crying out a warning So please for tonight let me sleep in your arms And if I die let me die in the morning Droning on forever, singing songs about your mother Drinking tea out in the garden where the flowers bloom forever She told you never ever go alone And where the sun has been unfaithful to the moon How's it going? Terrible. Two paragraphs. Honey, that's not bad. To this week. Okay, careful. Careful. Careful with F. Scott Fitzgerald's typewriter, your muse. You are my muse. Do you ever hear the story about when one of James Joyce's friends stopped by? Was it so rare that there is an anecdote about the one time that it happened? Shut up. And I thought I was distant Shut to people. Up. So James's friend comes by and says, how's the writing going? Terribly, cries James. I've written seven words. His friend says, but James, that's very good for you. I know, wails James, but I don't know what order they go in. I don't know what the point of that story is. <laughs> that two paragraphs in a week is perfectly acceptable, provided they are brilliant and in the right order. Yeah. You still going into town today? Yeah, I was planning on it. We're gonna need some mouse traps unless we're gonna start hunting and gathering. Would you um, pick that stuff up for me? Yeah. Coenzyme Q10, ginkgo biloba extract, B6, B12. Are we gonna build an airplane from World War II? <laughs> I looked it up. That stuff's supposed to help with memory. You looked it up? Is it worrying you that much? No, I'd, I'd just been forgetting some things, and I think the writing would go easier if I could remember the character names. Oh. Are you forgetting your character names? Hey, I'm just starting. I got time to learn the names. Okay, well, I'm gonna knock out a few more pages and then head out. What are you translating? A toaster oven manual. How's it going? Tremor. I don't know what that means. Ryan? Hey, there you are. 
didn't you say anything? I'm a monster. Come again? I am a monster. How so? I used to walk through the forest and the ideas would just run up to me and flutter and frolic, begging to be taken. I was like a goddamn Disney princess, but now I run and hide and I can't find them and the harder I look, the further they run and the deeper they burrow. I see. How drunk are you? It's just crazy. Huh? Get drunk with me. Are you sure that's a good idea? Vice is a monster. I'm so frightful mean. <laughs> the world is so full of such a number of things. I'm sure we should all be happy as kings. <sighs> Thanks, Mac. Mm. Hey, had it already? Hey, don't you look better. I left your vitamins over there for you. Oh, great. I am feeling good about this. These are gonna work. Out of the pool, then? Out of the pool and feeling good. Whew. I'm gonna do that in two next time. <laughs> I don't feel hungover at all. Well, that's good whiskey for you. And getting distracted from the drinking thing halfway through by the sex thing. I am gonna do some writing. That's all you. No, honey, half of these bottles, they say take with food and ulcer isn't gonna help you. Honey? Hey, thinking about making some soup. You want some? Sure. Hey, we should have your family come out here for Thanksgiving. You hate parties, gatherings, and crowds. You don't seem all that fond of my family. I am very pleasant with your family. Yes, but I can tell when you are unhappy and you are around my family. Well, they're very loud. And it's not them, it's people in general, but it'll be fine. I wrote 23 pages this week. The novel is going well. You love your family, and I love you. And besides, I don't want you to get sick of me stuck alone out here with nobody else to entertain you. You really want them to come? I really want you to be happy with your mom and... Alex. Alex. Honey, take some more vitamins or something. Why don't we invite your mom out for Thanksgiving as well? You know she won't come. She might, if we ask. So is your family coming? Who says I called them already? I know you called them the second you left the room. <laughs> I did. Mom was at Bible study, but I talked to Alex, and she is very excited to have Thanksgiving dinner with famous novelist Ryan Cole. Oh, great. Well, this will be fun. Just suffer through it. They like you. And I like you. How much do you like me? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> Earn it. Write five more pages. Oh, Mom, it's so peaceful here. Yeah, every time the wind blows, the leaves, they just, they shower down. You're gonna love it. And Ryan has this great office. It's looking over a beautiful little pond. I think he's feeling better. I mean, he's in there working away. Mom, I have to go. Ryan? Ryan?
bathroom. Sir, is there a Mrs. Catherine Cole present here? Uh, yeah. I need to speak with her immediately, please. Um... Okay, come in. <clears throat> oh, just hang on. Catherine Cole? Yes. What's wrong? I'm Officer Halloran. Is there some place where we can speak? Um. Yeah. Quick. What's wrong? Are you all right, ma'am? Yes, I'm fine. What happened to your finger? I cut it, cleaning up some broken glass. Is everything okay out here? Go back inside, sir. I need to speak with your wife privately. What is this about, please? We received a call from an... Uh, Anthea Tate, indicating that she had been unable to reach you after hearing a disturbance over the phone. Oh, yes, that that's my mother. Sir, I was on the phone last night and I heard my, my husband knock over a, a poster frame so I went inside to help him and that's when I, I cut my finger on a piece of glass and then the phone must have been busy my poor mother are you sure you're all right ma'am yes I'm fine my husband wouldn't he would never hurt me um, we don't have coffee out here but do you want some tea I'm all right ma'am just doing my job you have a good day and please call us if you ever do have a problem thank you sir call your mother drink my tea and it got cold. 
What are you doing? <laughs> Making hand turkeys. Weird. How's the red badge of courage? It's feeling mm. good. Mm. 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 Hey, let's go for a walk or something. I'm getting fuck all done lately. <laughs> it must be bad if you actually want to go outside. <laughs> Grab a bottle of wine. We'll go drink it somewhere. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Swept through August, caught a malaise, killed off the hours with pills and champagne. Oh, but I lay through the days just the same, distort my strength for courage in this new dark age. Beautiful. We don't have to worry about chilling the wine. <laughs> oh. Come here. It is sexy how good you are at opening alcohol. <laughs> Too warm. Can we just take our clothes off right here? Oh, I think it's a little cold for that. <laughs> Go drink some wine. It'll cool you off. <laughs> These are the good times, aren't they? I'm afraid so. Why afraid? If these are the good times, what have we got to look forward to? Being together in 40 years and looking back on this. <sighs> yeah. There's that. What are you doing? Always the writer, always with a pen. Getting all skittish. <laughs> it tickles. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going to put this note in this bottle. And I'm going to throw it out in the water so that no matter what, it'll be out there in the world. Until somebody finds it and thinks they have a secret admirer. Better? Okay. 
Ready? I can hit the pine cone? <laughs> Not in a million years. Oh. Oh. All right, double nothing. Huh? <laughs> Throw a rock without killing a bird. Just like I am killing my fucking novel. I thought the writing was going well. I landed it. I loved it, and I stroked it, and I petted it to death. 130 pages into what should be a 300-page novel, and it is over. So your follow-up is a brilliant novella. What's wrong with that? People will think that is a failure. That's not what they expect. Fuck them. If you said what you got to say, then publish it like it is. Bury Horace and get you back to your epic novel. You named him? Of course. Come on. Okay. I hope they don't get lost. <laughs> Got it? Yep. Okay. Oh, there they are! Okay, and don't mention that Mom called the cops. She was really embarrassed. Cabin. This place is so cool. It's really neat you guys get to stay here for so long. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty nice. Anyway, I baked this pie. Where should I put it? Uh, I'd probably ask your sister about that. Kate, where do you want the pie to go? Alex, come back here! <laughs> so is that an apple pie? Just plain apple pie? Yeah, it's the apple crisp from the, what is that whole, the southern? Is it grandma's? Is that grandma's? I think it is. There you go. It might be. It's it grandma's might be recipe. Find, it's oh, one of my favorites right. too. Right. So, so good. easy. Yeah. It's so easy. I made it like three weeks ago, but I didn't put I like it all of us. Do you have any ice cream? You do? We do. We do have ice cream down in the basement. Okay. I didn't know you already made it. Like three weeks ago. teacher asked if I could get you to sign that. 
First edition. How can you tell? The number line there starts with a one. So mom and Kate can be a lot to handle when they haven't seen each other for a while. Oh, they're fine. I just don't know what to do with their invisible gifts. You and Kate are perfect for each other. Name? It's Alex. Mom said you were forgetting things, but... The name of your teacher. Oh, shit. I wasn't supposed to say anything. Please don't tell Mom and Kate. They would be so mad. What does she say? Mom? Kate. I just heard from Mom that she was worried. That's all. Name? Uh, Mr. Marino. John Marino, I think. Hmm. And, um, <clears throat> he teaches literature? Yep. <clears throat> well, just better get you an A. Right there with you. Hey, John, keep molding the young mind. Perfect. Simple, but specific. The stuff in this book? Are your parents really... Happy, sad. Fucking monsters under the bed. Yeah. It's sort of an acid trip version of real events. Huh. Didn't you promise Kate you wouldn't read it? I did, but... My teacher signed it, so I had to. Sorry. Yeah, just, um... Don't tell her about it, okay? I won't. No. But I don't understand why you don't want her to know. I worked very hard trying to get that stuff out of my head and locking it in that book. I wasn't very happy before I knew your sister, and I want her to know. This me. Not this one. Must be scary up there. Hey, come on, you two. No more hiding. We're gonna play a game. Once more into the breach, dear Brutus. You are so weird. <laughs> yes. Good night. <laughs> Ball? I can't fit so much air in my lungs at a time. Really? I thought you were full of hot air. Oh, you won't be laughing when I pass out and you've got to finish this yourself. <laughs> you know, Alex mentioned my um, forgetting things. Shit. Sorry, honey. When I'm worried about something, I talk it out with my mom. I know you don't. It's fine. I'm sure that's the normal thing. Mm. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. And you? <laughs> Seriously, though, how are you? Please. Do not try to have a serious conversation with me on top of a giant marshmallow. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, well, are you serious? Mm -hmm. You want to do it now? Mm -hmm. Fuck it. <laughs> God, I feel like I'm having a three-way with you and a blow-up doll. <laughs> Sunk the raft. Oh, fucking raft. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, wow. You got a dirty mouth, sailor. Yeah, I gotta get it out now. I can't swear in front of Mom. I'm going to shower. Oh. 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 Go shower. Sorry, you're still asleep. You won't be after the coldest shower ever. Early bird gets the warm. Would you like to do the honors? Uh, no. No, 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 please. Feel free. Okay, so let's hold hands. Mm -hmm. Say blessing for this Thanksgiving. <sighs> Dear Lord, thank you for the bounty that you placed before us, for the blessings and successes we've had over this past year. Thank you for our family and our ability to be here together. I'll remember those who have gone before us and are with you now. On this day of thanks, in your son's name, amen. 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 <laughs> thanks, honey. You want some yams? Uh, yes. Please. <laughs> Don't take the Lord's name in vain. <laughs> and yes, again, and every year in the future until the two of you are no longer undefeated. <laughs> you won last year, so we get to go first. Alex, you draw first. How about we switch teams? Yeah? No, you're <laughs> on my team and you will show no mercy, young lady. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fine, watch out. All right, let's see. Song, sing, sing, sing. Heart, love. Love. Song, <laughs> melody, music, hourglass. Love in clock, love in time, love in time. Oh, you're gonna love this. <laughs> Thumb, finger, America. Pennies for heaven. No. <laughs> music, sing <Come> out. <laughs> Um, waves, ocean, water. Love in the time of cholera! No ah! way! No way! No way! Boat, uh, ship. Water, sh water ship down. Woo! Uh, the uh, author the, of, uh, author of Water Ship Down. Yes! And, uh, uh, God. Author of Water Ship Down. Wait, no, no, stop, 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 stop writing. No, 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 I got it, I got it. I got hey, it. time's on the stop. It's fine. Yeah, God. God. Damn it. She's fuck! Oh! Okay, wait. I'll go. Mom, you don't. I may have raised two girls, but I know what a boy needs a mother. Call me Anthony Ryan. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that, and I'm sorry that I swore. It's not why I'm here. Are you all right? I don't know. What is it? It's life. 
I, I can feel that my mind slipping away and I keep grabbing at them, but it just keeps falling through my fingers. And I'm afraid that one day it will just trickle off and be gone. Have you tried prayer? I'm glad that your faith sustains you, Anthea, but it does not me. Orphan did an irrelitzen. I know you don't believe, but I do. May I pray for you? Do your worst. needs to spend some time alone with you. And I want you to enjoy it as long as you can. Okay, you need to get him some help. And if he won't go see someone, you bring someone here. He said something to me in German. It's Rilke, that's the only German he knows. Would not these then throw their last ever hoarded ever hidden, unknown to us, eternally valid coins of happiness before that pair with a finally genuine smile. Thank me. Thank you. No, thank you for trying. I'm gonna pray for you, Ryan. Don't pray for me. Let's pray for Kate. Have second breakfast. Make tea. Bitter. You steep it too long. With a tea ball. Tea ball. It's a ticket. You want any? At this hour, isn't it going to keep you up all night? Mm, pretty sure I destroyed my body's reaction to caffeine during the first book. 
Oi. I'm gonna set those traps. So why isn't the writing going well? It just isn't. Remember when I told you after you finished some really great writing? It's like you just come, sweaty, shaking like you need a cigarette. Are you cheating on me with your writing? <sighs> Easy, Zelda. Are you complaining about writing or trying to get sex? Just complaining. Well, back to it. Why is it so cold in here? Because you left the window open. Come on, take a break. I'll make some tea. <sighs> here. You must be freezing. Yeah. Honey, do you want to see somebody about this memory thing? I'm fine. I promise. Just a little stuffy in there, so I grabbed a window and then I got lost in the writing. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to just keep it going. <sighs> Thanks. Thanks for the tea. Is it going well? Just reworking what, I'm, what I've got. Keep the window closed. <laughs> Who's that? Probably Dr. Taylor. What's he doing out here? He's just gonna make sure you're okay. God. Well, that was mature. Please do this for me. I don't know if I can. 
If you can't get out of the pool yourself, please take the rope I'm throwing you. We are beyond the pool, Kate. And before me lie nothing but eternal things. He's ready for you. For me? He wants to talk to you. Probably something else, right? Because he's, I mean, he's fine. He's. Kate, the combination of symptoms that he described to me is only present in this spectrum of prion diseases the loss of memory, loss of balance, the uh, behavioral shifts coupled with his family history. What do you mean, his family history? This is hereditary. His father had this disease. His father died in a car accident. His father died of this. Did Ryan know he might get this and lie to me? Kate, Kate, Kate. Would you have lived your life any differently? Would you have done anything different? From where you are right here, looking back, the alternative would have been knowing sooner that this could happen. And it was just a chance back then. Would it have been better to know that this could be coming? I tried. I tried for years to get Ryan to get tested and he wouldn't do it. He didn't want to do it. He wanted to live life just not knowing. What can I do? What can we, where do we go? What do we do next? All I can tell you is how it progresses from here and what to expect. Okay. It's very aggressive, very fast acting. 
generally takes about three months from the onset of the initial symptoms. Okay. You'll see his memory continue to go. His motor skills will deteriorate. It's not going to be easy. You had a tough road. At some point, you'll need professional care. But I will be here for you. Do you think we should take him to a hospital? Right now, even the most advanced treatment that we have would add maybe a week, two at best. He'd have to be in the hospital most of the time, which would take away from your time together. So I don't recommend that. Do you think we should stay here? You should talk to Ryan.
Have you eaten since lunch? I don't know. You haven't. Eat this. Mm. <laughs> hey, when I can't work on this anymore, I want you to send it to Jackson. He's expecting it. Is he excited? No. He's pissed it's not longer, but... I, uh, I didn't tell him about anything else, so... Hopefully this will be enough to keep you filthy rich your whole long life. I can take care of myself. Eat your sandwich. Look at you in your PJs. <laughs> it was cold last night. You seem comfy. You are supposed to snuggle with me if it's cold. That seems like a wonderful idea. <laughs> <laughs> at the traps? I can't do it. reading. Sitting like this on the park bench in front of your dorm. Right after I looked up with you because I liked your story in the lit journal. <laughs> Is that why it was so easy to get into bed? First night we met, I didn't even have to buy you a drink. The drinks were free. It was a party. But I didn't make it that hard for you. And the next day, we were sitting like this on that park bench. 
both reading, and you hit him in the lap. Just because I was slutty, apparently. I thought it was because I was brilliant. Send it to Jackson for me. Please, just send it to him right now, the story. I, I cannot trust myself not to change it, and it is the best that I can make it. Okay, right now, now? Please, just send him an email, a PDF. Never trust an agent. Do you need to go to the bathroom? Do you need help? No. PDF on my desktop. Did you send my story to somebody? I sent it to Jackson like you asked. What did you do that? I didn't ask you to do that. It isn't finished. I mean, how can it be finished at a hundred and three pages? Sweetheart, you asked me to send it. 
No, I did not ask you. You ruined it. You ruined everything. Once there was a knight named Tristan. He was the strongest and bravest of knights and was sworn to a king. One day, it came to pass that he was sent to a far off land and he won the heart of a beautiful princess named Isolde for his king. On the journey home, however, they drank a potion that bound their hearts and souls together forever. They were desperately in love, but could never truly be together until they died. And two trees grew out of their graves so entwined 
They could never be separated. Hello, Kate. Ryan, are you ready? <laughs> 